miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss. Back at it again with another reaction video, man. And today, man, we are hopping into uh, all of these Nick Cannon discs, man. Um, if you guys check from the last video I did, it was the um, kickoff of all of this with the Eminem track um, where he just went in on Nick. And um, I have never seen someone want someone's attention so bad. Like, I don't know, man. Nick, bad out in these streets, man, from the tweets that he's put out, man. But I've, I've avoided listening to his actual tracks like the plague. I'm just saying. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Nick Cannon's raps. Like I commend the I commend uh, Nick Cannon on all of the other stuff that he's done, the checks that he's gotten. Um, I mean, he went from Drumline and he continued to stack his bag. He ended up marrying Mariah Carey. Like he had his accomplishments in life. You feel me? But at the same time, rapping was never his thing, man. And um, I don't know. I don't know who's pushing him. I don't know who's egging him on. I don't know who is in his corner. Maybe this is the Wildin' Out crew that's telling him, man, you gotta, you gotta get out there. But, bruh, he's not a rapper. It's just facts, bruh. He is not a rapper. But we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna try to go through all of these, man. He has the invitation, uh, pray, pray for him, and uh, the invitation canceled. So we're gonna try to get through them all, man. So we're gonna... Go ahead and hop into this, man. If you're new to the channel, man, just enjoy the ride, man. I normally do my reactions at the end, but it's about three videos in one, man. So we may have to stop here and there, and I'll give my thoughts. But uh, uh, hopefully I don't catch a headache listening to this, man. And I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll be surprised. Maybe he's better than I would expect. But without further ado, let's hop into it. Number will be monitored and recorded. Check this out, uh, Eminem, whatever your name is, right? You know, I'll never do no talking, but Nick is family. This show even can't be. Him and Suge Knight, that's crazy. I know some. Eminem's a bitch. Punish everywhere, nurse, money on a bed. I can say I love it, but it's hard to understand. I just want the real, baby, you can have my last. You know, if you go out, baby, you know, come. Coming back, that's a fact. It's the invitation. Hold Joe to lean back. Don't get hit with this retaliation. So fuck with crack. But the white boy, he fuck with crack. Crack pills and smack. Shit ain't about the relapse. Call Kim, somebody get Haley. And that other kid you raising that ain't even your baby. Took a page out of Drake book. This might get a grand. We going back to back till you respond on the family. My baby mama killed you off a decade ago. Ugh. <sighs> You know, there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse, bro, than someone pretending to be what they're not. Now, it is it is my understanding that uh, Nick Cannon got hands. And, I mean, you ain't got to be in the streets to have hands. But, like, this whole vibe, this whole vibe with the goon, like, he got a goon squad with him. Like, he really about that life. We know you're not Nick Cannon. Stop it, bruh. Please, for the love of God, bruh. Just chill. Just chill. Like, if you wanted to really shoot shots, then just let it be about the bars. But all of this production quality, it, like, it's distracting me from what you're actually saying. And really, you're not saying anything. Um, like, bruh, like, what? When did, when, now, now, um, apparently, what are you saying? That he, he's watching a kid that isn't his? Like, bruh, <laughs> you just better be glad you don't have illegitimates out there. Because we know your track record. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not no legitimate shots, bruh. Like, so far, what you're firing really isn't nothing. You're not giving us any new information. If we found out Eminem had a baby, that sh wouldn't hit like it did with Drake. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, stop. Stall me out with that shit. Uh, <laughs> but let's hop back into it, man. Great, but this might get a grand. We going back to back to your respond on a family. My baby mama 
killed you off a decade ago. You still crying about it, bitch. Now who really the hoe? I called Joe to set you up and you fell for the job. Slim on show for the video. Cause he tapped five of my squad. Heard your show forgot a video and you sucking the cop. You paid him off and laid him off. Now who really the op? Should call me the new pock. Ain't no killer, but don't push me. How the fuck y'all got me battling L? Hold up, hold the fuck up. Did this man say they should call him the new Pac? Man, if you don't get your ass out of here with that shit, bruh, you, mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm, I'm more offended at the fact that Nick Cannon just compared himself to Tupac than anything so far. Like, this, that's crazy, bro. Like, what? You are not even, you're not even in his, his, element bro like you're not even close <laughs> bro is this a joke that's crazy um and i don't again i don't want y'all to like get get it twisted bro like i i feel no type of way in this eminem versus nick cannon like I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have an opinion in regards to the two of them. Um, obviously, there's some bad blood there, but I just like don't pretend to be what you're not, bro. Like we already know who Nick Cannon. Like Nick Cannon has showed us who he is. Nick Cannon's the fun guy. He's he's the fun guy, kid show guy. Like you know what I mean? Jump on trends. He's like the bow wow. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> he's Shad Moss. Like, come on, man. Like, chill out, bro. Um, and it's very hard to take these words, like, even in a diss track, it's hard to take him serious, man. Right now, all I'm thinking about is the wildin' out end of the show battle. Like, th that's what this feels like right now. Like, you're like you're waiting for uh, D-Ray D to ring the bell and tell you that the black team won or the black squad won. Like... I'm not feeling it so far, but whatever, man. Uh, everybody's gonna be entitled to their feelings, man. But uh, let's hop back in. I should call me the new Pac. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. How the fuck y'all got me battling Elvis Pussley, nigga? Elvis Pussley. <laughs> uh, you hate to see it, bro. This gotta be karma, cause he's shit out of luck. Eminem the perfect name, cause this nigga a nut You used to beef with Nickelodeon, Nick He called hit and I come with the mop And get on my custodian shit like by the phone Yo, I'm not gonna hold you I'm not gonna hold you But that shit was fire <laughs> That what see Nick, this is what we're talking about. See, that's the difference between what bars you just dropped and what we just heard from this nigga. This like that was some little legitimate shit. He said, You think you battling with Nickelodeon Nick? Nah, bruh. Nah, it's not it's not that type. He went and got the shooter shooter. And I'm about to come at that dome. Like, I don't know. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Like, bro, you can see it night and day. Go back and listen to Nick's bars, man. Like, his bars are like, yeah. Like, even the first couple seconds of, of, of dude is way harder. So then what does that say about your diss track, bro? You got a diss track to go at one man. It was between you, between you and Eminem. And your featured artist is bodying you on your own track. Like, that shit's crazy. But it is what it is, man. Let's jump back in. Nickelodeon Nick. He called hit and I come with the mop and get on my custodian shit. Like my shit. Got it beat. Lima scene got spazz. Put him and them in a bag. It's Halloween. This ain't an eight mile battle. Man, I'll do you awful. My competition in the target. I think it's Marshall. Hop up in the show you at. I'm spinning on a bed. I can say I love it, but it's hard to understand. Way harder. Bruh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, yo, like, 
you went and got a whole list of people to rap on this track and they are they are going hard as hell like i'm not gonna hold them i'm not gonna hold clips like they are going hard on this track bro i love their wordplay i love their 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 bars and how they set up their their lines like your boy said i hope you're not in that trailer part still let me show you how how we do it we line that thing up man we'll riddle like the, their setup, their bars, their their the way that they address the track is completely different than the shit that we just heard in the beginning. Come on, guys! Like y'all gotta stop encouraging this nonsense, bro. Like what should have happened is I don't know. Maybe Casil could have wrote um, the rap, and maybe he did write the raps for um, Nick. I don't know, man. But somebody should have gave him some more bars than what we just heard because his was trash. Um, but the other, the other two clips and, but so far they, they've been on it. They've been on it and I ain't going to hold them. So let's jump back in. No, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh, really? Like, I can't even let you, I can't let you slide with that line. So now, all of a sudden, Eminem is trying to act black. Really? Oh my gosh, bro. This shit is so bad, bro. Come on. Eminem never in his life, never in his entire life has ever portrayed or tried to act like anything other than Eminem. He's a psycho. And he tells you that. Nigga's wild. He tells you that. The only thing he cares about is his daughter. He tells you that. Like, at what point, at what point? Did Eminem ever give you the impression that he was trying to act black? Like, please fill me in. <sighs> this shit is crazy, bruh. This shit is so crazy. Let's jump back in. Yeah. Bro, there is so many people that run like y'all just literally jump Eminem on this track. What the fuck are you talking about? If you're gonna be a rapper, you can't carry an entourage. You can't have badges around you. The fuck? Who came up with that shit? Because I I know that there are plenty of rappers that have their security running with them, and most of them niggas is ex cops. So what are you talking about? Like what the, bro? None of this shit makes any sense, bro. Like I don't know, man. Uh, this is my first impression. Like I said, I didn't. I I avoided this like the plague to listen to this, and uh, I give props to where props is due. Uh, clips had his um i can't remember who the who went second i mean they had their lineup the third one he was on some wild shit i don't know what he was talking about the nigga looked like like he was trying to imitate lil wayne a little bit i don't know man but like right now this mantra that's being given that's some bs bro like you 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 don't even believe this shit so now all of a sudden because he said something to nick 
He said something to Nick and his wife. Nick could have handled this his damn self. But he goes and gets everybody else and all of y'all talking tough behind a microphone telling Eminem how he should handle himself. <laughs> Shit is wild. Like, who does this, bro? Who does this? See, this is this is the reason why we needed 6ix9ine out. Because 6ix9ine with his clown ass, snitch ass, this would have been hilarity if if this was 6ix9ine and this this shit. But like, just think about the mental capacity, bro, of what y'all are actually just saying. It makes no damn sense, bro. <sighs> Let's hop back in for the rest. started a beef with somebody and then they go get 20 people to chime in none of the people that were involved in this has any issue with Eminem right so everybody's riding riding the clout rate wave because this is gonna get clicks this is gonna get views and like the only person that had any stake in the game was Nick and his lines his bars was trash they were garbage. I mean, they didn't hit, they didn't stick. I don't even remember half the shit he said. Like, there wasn't anything there. And um, and then to have Suge talking at the end, talking that wild shit, talking about getting in the ring. At what point did uh, Eminem ever say that he was a boxer? You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't we just stay in the arena where we are? Nick jumped his happy ass out here in the rap arena against a rapper. But now, all of a sudden, he has to hop in the ring. <laughs> Shit's wild, bro. But anyways, man. Um, yeah, this this was just... This was awful, bro. This was literally awful. This was absolutely the epitome of what you don't do when you get into a rap battle with someone else. Like, you have to learn how to stand on your ones and twos, bro. I could see if Eminem was saying, oh, yeah, I'm finna run up on you. All right, then, yeah, you know, you got to cover yourself. You got to protect yourself, you know, guard yourself at all times. I get that. But this was bar for bar. And you can't, Nick can't go bar for bar with Eminem. And we already know that. You can listen to this back and you know that he can't do that. Um, but it's just like, bro, really? Like, this was this was terrible. This was hard to listen to. Um, and it, it just really wasn't worth anything. Like if this was as hard as he was going to come, um, or to jump out of the gate with, I mean, there really wasn't any point. And I, I, I am under the understanding that there are two more diss tracks that he has out there. So still got to listen to the, the other two diss tracks that he has out there. But like for this to be the invitation and the, the be all to start it. I see why Eminem didn't respond. Why the fuck would I respond to this shit? This is a bunch of nonsense. Y'all ain't even talking about shit. Like, you're not... You, there's no reason for Eminem to respond to you. Because not one thing that Nick said in this track was harder than what he said in the previous track um, with Fat Joe. So it's like, nigga, when you throw out a diss that actually makes me move something, then... Guess then we'll talk. But I don't know, man. Everybody's going to feel different, man. You guys let me know what you think about uh, this diss track. Did you like it? Were you feeling it? Um, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But it, it's a no for me, man. Like, I wasn't feeling that at all. And it was a bunch of nonsense and crazy ass thought processes that was going on. But anyways, guys, we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew.
Stay shady out there.